Supervisor Daly. Hey, Mr. President, okay. colleagues, it's uh, probably fair to say in eight and a half years I've negotiated about as, as many deals as, as anybody else here in, in that time. And uh, when, you, when, you, when you press uh, from the city's uh, position uh, to an outside entity, uh, you quickly get uh, responses that, you know, if you want that term or if you want that, um, you know, dollar amount, that it's a deal breaker. And if you are negotiating on behalf of an outside entity and you don't use that uh, to try and hold your position, you're just not negotiating well, even if it's not true. Uh, and if you're honorable and come and say, hey, we could do it for this amount, well, you know, you're just, you're just going to get run out by, uh, you know, folks who, who, who own interest in you or, or lenders or, or whomever. Uh, however, there's only really one way to find out if a term is a deal breaker. Uh, and that's to press the term and to have the, your, you know, those on the other side of the negotiating table break the deal. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't come back uh, over other terms. But at a certain point, if you're interested in getting the best deal possible, you have to press. You have to get up and leave the negotiating table a couple of times. Those on the other side of the negotiating table, table you have to get up and leave the negotiating table a couple of times and, you know, check in with, uh, you know, uh, financiers and, uh, you know, whatnot, folks who, who have an interest uh, in the deal uh, and work it out. If your interest is not getting the best deal for the city but just having a deal, then Supervisor Chu is right, uh, the administration is right, it's a deal breaker. And you go on your merry way, no one will ever know whether it was a deal breaker or not.